Hi everyone, and welcome to my remade pre-made group finder add-on. It is packed with quality of life improvements as well as new functionality making filtering for groups easier than ever before. Let's start off with the dungeons category. So now you're able to filter dungeons based on both the difficulty but also on the specific dungeons themselves. So let's say you only want to see halls of value groups, that is very much possible. If you want to filter on several dungeons, that is no problem either. You also have the option still to use the search bar to find groups that have the key level you're looking for. You also have the option to filter out groups that are incompatible for your role or your group. So let's say that you're in a group with a tank and there is no tank slot available. Those groups will be filtered out. Now I'm not in a group, I'm just alone as a damager and all the groups that do not have a DPS slot available are filtered out. Now, if you want to still see them, that is very much possible, but they always end up at the bottom for default. You also have the option to filter out groups based on the leader score. If I only want to see groups that have a leader with at least 2850 score, that is also very much possible. Now, let's also have a look at the results lists here on the left. And in the results lists, you can now see the leader's overall score in parentheses and also colored. You also are able to see all of the specs that are inside the group already, as well as the missing roles of that group. Now there's also a way to have a more simplified view, if that is what you prefer. Then you'll still see what roles are missing and what are in the group, but you'll instead just see the class colors of the ones that are in the group. Let's talk about signing up to a group. Now, if you want to sign up to a group, all you have to do is select the role or the roles you want to sign up as. If you would like, you can put in a description as well. And then just simply left click all the groups you want to sign up to. Now, if you're in a party and you're not the leader, it will automatically accept the role check based on the role you have selected, making signing up instantaneous. In addition to simple and quick signups, you also have the ability to still see all of the specs in the group. So if I notice that all the three DPS spots got covered, then I can simply just cancel the signup. Now let's quickly talk about how sorting is done. So the sorting is will always prioritize the groups that you have applied to, putting them at the top. Then it's going to put groups that has friends, Battlenet friends or guildmates in them. But those groups still has to match the sort, the filtering that you have put. So if you have chosen to join Halls of Valor groups and your friend is in a temple group, you will not see them. Then it's going to show groups that you are compatible for or that your group is compatible for if you're several players. And all the groups that you're not compatible for will end up in the bottom or not show at all if you have chosen to hit them. Then it's going to be based off whatever sorting that you have put in the configuration. So currently it's configured to sort by time. So all the groups that are more recent will end up at the top. You have also the option to sort by the score. So the highest leader score will end up at the top. Another option to this add-on is that you can see the highest key level that the leader has completed for the specific group that they have listed. So for example, this person is listing a 22 Shadow Moon and the highest key they have done of that dungeon is also 22. It's shown as green because it's in time. If it would not be in time, it would be shown as gray. This is a configurable option. Another neat feature of this add-on is that all the input you do is sticky, even though that the Blizzard UI is not by default. Even if you put in something into the search box and you select multiple different dungeons, you decide to close the tab, open it again, it will still keep your input. Another feature of this add-on is that it has search failure prevention. Blizzard has a timer of roughly 3 seconds that it allows you to search between. If you try to search more often than 3 seconds, it will end up with an empty list and an error message. To give you a better experience, you are still going to be able to see all of the groups and it's going to prevent you from trying to search more often than what Blizzard allows. 
Another little trick that you can do that also works in the Blizzard UI already is that if you want to see only 22 groups, you can put 21 and 23 in the search box and you're left out with only 22 keys. Now let's talk about the raid category. So in the raid category, you're able to filter groups both based on the difficulty of the raid. If you only want to see heroic groups, that is very much possible. If you only want to see groups for all difficulties, that is possible as well. You then also have the option to filter based on the boss that is next. The other will do a very educated guess to figure out if the boss you're selecting is the one that they're currently on. So for example, if you only want to see Rasageth groups, you can do so. If you want to be able to see Rasageth group and Kurog groups, so that means that the they're very likely to be either on Kurog or Rasageth, that is possible as well. If I want to see a fresh run, that is also very much possible. All I have to do is select it, and then I will be presented with only fresh groups. The sorting of the ready category works the same way as the dungeons, except that there are no incompatible groups. Another feature of this add-on is that you're able to send the best achievement you have accomplished within the specific raid. So by simply right-clicking a group and pressing send best achievement, it will automatically send the highest achievement I've accomplished within this raid. That said, this chat is another add-on, disclaimer. Another feature for this add-on is that you're able to see the highest level that the specific player has done for the, the dungeon that you have listed. So for example, for Call of Stars, this person has done a 22 in time for specifically Call of Stars. Lastly, the add-on has a nice functionality that lets you browse groups even when you're in a group and even if you're not the leader. So even though our group is currently listed, I'm able to find other groups meanwhile.